Derek, for me, a GT car is something that I'd be very comfortable driving on a day-to-day -day basis to and from work, but yeah. if the call ever came where I needed to get down to the south of France for whatever reason, yeah. I'd seriously consider getting in the car and driving rather than flying. Yeah. And this car does that. It does, yeah. I mean, that, this car has been designed for um, those long-distance continental journeys. The clue's in the title, and a lot of our customers do like to go away for a long weekend, um, just three or four days away perhaps, and uh, really enjoy them on the long trips. Style-wise, you have the traditional Bentley cues of Matrix front grille and quad headlamps, but the Continental GT adds this power line and muscular rear haunch set under what is quite a delicate silhouette. The second generation Continental GT offers a bit more dynamic tension and is marked out by bigger alloys, reprofiled headlamps, a new eyebrow line at the front and double horseshoe line at the rear. The trump card as well has got to be that interior. It's exquisite to look at. Yeah. Bulletproof in terms of the quality, which you don't always get with such low volume car makers. The wood ages beautifully and uh, that shows you that the, the wood's genuine and not something that's a uh, man-made material. There really are no shortcuts in size. This leather steering wheel, for example, takes up to six hours to hand stitch. The hand-selected wood veneers, 13 hours to craft. You're not just buying a car here, you're buying a piece of sculpture. And with that in mind, it's imperative that you check all the leather hide and these veneers thoroughly for any damages caused by jeans, jewelry, even heels, as any scuffs or tears are gonna be really expensive to sort out. Quilted leather is a must, but if you're going for dream spec, then you do really well to find a car with the upgraded name stereo, which would have set the original owner back £5,000, or carbon ceramic disc brakes, another £10,000. You must have seen an awful lot of different varieties of colour and trim, but if you're a customer wanting to maintain those residuals, what will be the dream spec? It sounds boring, and the motor industry often does these cars, but they're black with black and black wood. Uh, a triple black car will look fantastic. If it's a bigger car, like a Mulzan, then you might go for a dark uh, exterior and a light interior. While this Magenta Continental GT may show off Bentley's near limitless customisation options, keep the colourways classical if you want to maintain strong residuals. The second generation Continental GT saw the introduction of the V8. Yep. And obviously, you know, whether you go for a 6 litre W12 or a twin turbocharged 4 litre V8, they're not going to be great on fuel. But which one would you go for? Well, I think the clever thing with the V8 is that it's 40% more efficient on the fuel, it's 40% better on emissions, and actually it's nearly as fast. So for me personally, and, and I like the sound of a V8, I think V8s sound fantastic. So a lot of our customers now are changing from W12 to V8, and some will you know, carry on with the W12. The four-wheel drivetrain offers immense traction, which is especially important in UK conditions. And character-wise, both the V8 and the W12 are quite similar in the sense that they absolutely pummel a road into submission. How long do the, those tyres last? Well, tyre wear is quite good on a Bentley because they're four-wheel drive. I mean, a lot of cars, um, a lot of, uh, at this end, are two-wheel drive, obviously, so that you do chew out the back tyres, but you find quite even tyre wear. I mean, you're talking around £350 per tyre, which is not unreasonable, and you, you're probably going to get, some people will be getting eight to 10,000 miles out of a set, so it's actually not too bad. With regards to refurbishing wheels, you, you can't refurbish every wheel. What you can do, if the edge is just a little bit nibbled off, you can, you can get those repaired, and that would be sort of £150. Um, but if the wheel is a two-piece wheel with the bolts around the outside, if you have to remove those two pieces to refurbish them properly, then you spoil the integrity of the wheel and you, you should change it. What are the niggles, if there are any, that get checked out with a, a Bentley approved dealer? As a dealer, we're very thorough with our checks. One of Jack Barclay's mantras, really, from many, many years ago was that we would always display used cars next to new cars so you can compare the two and actually you'd struggle to see what a used car looked like compared to a new one. When you're spending so much money on a car like a Continental GT, I guess it's imperative to, to keep the car within the dealer network and yeah. go with an approved Bentley. Yeah. I mean, what do you guys offer over just a, a, a non-official Bentley yeah. dealer? It's really down to knowledge and using original parts. We have the Bentley approved check that all Bentleys go, go through. And then we also have our own checks. I mean, especially in cars in London, things like leaves can get blocked in drains. And so there's extra things that we do. And actually, the price of a service now, you know, you're talking around sort of 700, starting from 700 pounds. We do uh, special offers on cars that are over four years. Uh, so in fact, we're, at, we're seeing more and more older cars coming back into the Bentley network because of the fixed price servicing.
If it's been through the Bentley uh, approved uh, process, you're going to get a very good sound car to, to enjoy for many years.